it's a no. Oh my gosh, we're all here. Oh no, I'm so <coughs> Welcome, vlog viewers. Uh -oh. Welcome, vlog viewers, for Sebastian's debriefing. He's going to be <coughs> debriefing us about his debriefs. Tomorrow could, in fact, be the day we have all been waiting for. I would just like to say one thing before we start. They tried to bury us, but they did not know that we were seeds. Rajesh, you get three interruptions. Is that one of them? That's oh. one of them. <laughs> so, tomorrow could be the day we, in fact, fly. And this is the day we've been waiting for all year for the people on the planet. A lot of people here have spent a lot of hours trying to put this together so that we can go fly tomorrow and um, really be the best we can in the world. So tonight, we're just, we just have some plans in order to see how we can best facilitate that. Oh, okay, give me the straight facts. Okay, we show up on the flight line, or we show up uh, in the pits, we figure out who are the current teams that are going out. We figure that out, we know when we are going. Because, who knows, a lot of people could have skipped. We could have also had a force, forceful skip. We need to know where we stand. Once we know that, we can plan where we'll end up during the day. When we get to the flight line, as we've just looked at the rules, everyone can come to the flight line. So we're all going to have certain jobs when we're out there. Rajesh is our esteemed safety pilot. My name so, is Rajesh. Oh my gosh. I am the esteemed safety pilot. That is my second interruption. With two left. <laughs> so, if anybody wants, or if the plane crashes, we blame Rajesh. Because if for whatever reason the plane is going, you know, if, if it's driving below 25 meters, Rajesh should take it over and save the plane. That's what we've decided. <laughs> That's what we've been debriefed on. Beyond that, Andrew will be throwing the plane. Andrew's going to be watching the plane with Rajesh. <laughs> As we thought this out, what would happen. I will be watching the plane on the autopilot computer. And one of you guys, Jack, or uh, Jack, <laughs> Jackie, <laughs> or Dad. <laughs> one of us. One you, guys, of us. you guys can choose, you know, whichever, whichever place you want to go. Uh, one of you guys can, you know, watch the actual plane, you know, fly around in the air. And the other one of you guys can watch, you know, the, the plane on the GCS. So we'll just, you know, you guys split up that way. Brian, I'd appreciate it if you watch the GCS. I think you'd be very valuable out there. But if you really want to watch the plane, just let me know. And I'll make sure I have two other sets of eyes on it with me. So that's basically our general uh, positions. Cindy, of course, would be our imaging lead. So she'll be getting all the points for us. And we'll be missing the, elk, the last open location. So is that, is that the, the preview? Um, we have the general idea of what are you know, what we're going to be doing tomorrow. You didn't go over timeline at all. Okay, so let's go over the timeline. Yeah. So when we're called out to the flight, when we're called out to the flight line, everything should be ready to be put onto a gator. So essentially, just a, uh, like a small trailer that we'll put all of our equipment on so the plane and any of the batteries that we want to bring out, any of the computers, any of those charging cables. Anything for the switch that we, the network switch that we have, all that stuff needs to be immediately loaded on to the trailer that they give us. We yeah. will then be driven out to the flight line, which is out in the middle of the field. You know, there's going to be no trees whatsoever, and, you know, barely any shade. So once we go out there, we'll start setting everything up, preparing for a flight. After we only been pre preparing for a bit, um, the judge will come over and we will give the. Uh, <laughs> there's okay, a. Flight uh, the mission briefing. So that's where I'll describe how we're going to perform our mission for the day. And the judges can, you know, ask any questions that they need to on, you know, how we're going to be performing certain objectives. You know, the idea of the mission briefing, you know, after we get out into the air, we'll be performing an autonomous takeoff. After we get, you know, to the standby waypoint, which will be about 100 meters off the ground, we'll perform the autonomous waypoint navigation, which will immediately deroute into the search area sweep. After that, uh, depending on Depending on the locations, we will look at the last known location, see if we can find that, and we will also look at the off-axis target, see if we can get a picture of that. After those have been done, which that should probably about be 20 minutes into the flight, if nothing, you know, if nothing wrong has happened, nothing happens. 
After that point, we will go into an autonomous landing. If everything goes well with the autonomous landing, the you know, plane will go down. At that point, everyone that's out that was looking at the plane should make sure that we go collect the plane, bring it back to the flight tent. Once we have it back to the flight tent, I mean, throughout the whole mission, but especially at the end, I believe we have 20 minutes in, of, of post-processing time in order to capture any more targets that we can. The, the post-processing will all, so uh, as you guys may or may not know, we have, there's some called the interoperability server, uh, interoperability server rather, and that's used both for sending information to us, but also for automated judging. Um, so all of the, uh, the target store scoring will be through the interoperability server, all of the waypoint scoring, so determining whether we accurately got the waypoints or not, will be through the interoperability server. So that's all performed by the progress and the inspection that we're monitoring. Um, so that's what will be happening uh, during that time. Um, if we go over 45 minutes, uh, they won't immediately disqualify us, but we will receive a point penalty. When Sebastian briefs the, the judges, he will be covering all of our roles in the flight line as well. Uh, so judges will be looking for just overall uh, team function professionalism. Uh, now we haven't actually practiced all together as a team, um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but hopefully, just briefing you guys will help a little bit with that. So the plan of communication between the people, you know, like watching the plane and the flight tent is I will have my phone on speaker, where Josh is going to have, you know, um, his phone, and he's going to have earbuds on in order to hear us. How asleep do you think Dad and Brian are right now? <laughs> Very, because we're all talking and they're not. Um, Amaze. Okay. Um, so we're going to have to be communicating the entire time. You'll be responsible for leaving us at the, at the pits. Um, pretty much, that's it. Yep. Okay. And they were responsible um, for being serious, like distracting our team as diverse as possible. Yeah, actually, that's another role for anybody who's beside me. Distract Cindy and me. like <laughs> figure out what she said. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to try to like not pay attention to Cindy at all. It's going to be a huge challenge, <laughs> but I believe Check in Sebastian. Oh my god! Oh, we're doing so great! Oh my god! Everything. <laughs> That's gonna happen. Yeah. That was my third interruption, by the way. I get one more interruption. <laughs> to do your seniority in the team. To do your seniority in respect to position. Okay. So, so, do you guys have any questions on what's gonna happen about what's gonna happen tomorrow? <laughs> what is that? Okay. That's your last interruption. I lost my question. <laughs> Okay, Sebastian, what are you doing right now? There's so much I'm doing. He's doing numbers so, stuff. So much. What, what, can you quickly explain what's on the screen right now? Um, code. Um, this is a terminal. Can you make your first Hackaday, Hackaday post? Okay. Mm, okay, there's criminal, debug, save it error, Yeah, Jackie, the kid saved my head save. Go ahead. My head save. Do it. Ballin'. Do it. Brad. What are you doing? Yeah? What are you up to? Videos? What, what type of videos? Time lapse. Can you tell us more about it? I'm trying to get it to actually. Well, to make a video, because I had to stitch all the photos together into a video. Let's see, how long do you think it'll take? I don't know, it's not working. Uh, interesting. Okay, thank you. I will leave you to your work. <laughs> Very private deliberation. Well, why you guys got up? Looks like they started breakfast unlocked earlier. It's around 6 a.m. they started breakfast, so everybody else is still sleeping. So I'm gonna go back and wake them up so they can get breakfast maybe a little bit earlier and I can make it out on time, maybe. I don't know. I'm not even leaving at 7.30, it's 6.30, so we'll see how that goes. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> Hey. So guess what? Hmm. They're serving breakfast right now.
<laughs> you make that sound like such a big deal. What time is it? 6.30. Yeah. Is it full back breakfast though? Yeah, full breakfast serves right now. Yeah. Well, that's that's really good. Mm-hmm. Um maybe we should get our food right now. I'm thinking, yeah. And then we can do our thing. This is the first team? Hmm? No, it's um they're doing a a launch for uh, like a military UAV. Uh, I think they're doing a demonstration. But it looks like it's happening. I don't see it though. It probably it's gonna be like way larger than any of ours. <laughs> Your mom's hilarious. <laughs> This team here, I forgot, I think, you can, this is an air frame you can buy, I think, from Hobby King or some kind of similar uh, manufacturer, so they're kind of doing the same thing as us, they're just kind of like outfitting an existing airframe. I see. So they got a, they got a vertical, a vertical takeoff airframe over there, so it, it's like, an, it's a, it, it takes off like a helicopter, but it flies forward like a plane, it's pretty dope. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's really sweet. Yeah. And then, uh, they have the same university colors as us. That's true. Yeah, they do, yeah. <laughs> Seems like very front loaded, so the, the yeah. larger airframes usually perform better than this one. Yeah. Usually, just because they like have so much more space, so they have way less issues in terms of just debugging and stuff. Yeah. And like, usually, if they have a large airframe, that means they have like a, ten of, like, a team of like 10 mechanical engineers who just like focus on that alone. Hey. Yeah. And they do like custom fabrication on everything, so they never run out of parts. And, yeah. We should do that. <laughs> well, we have tried and we failed at it, but that's because we had like very few students in general. What did we do? This one looks like racing in San Diego. All these, old, all these teams have like their own trailers and everything. Yeah, we don't have any. There's no play for us out there. <laughs> we have this airframe in our club room right now. We just haven't done anything with it. Oh yeah, I remember. This one's cool because there's the big dome on it and stuff. Too. Yeah. Wow. Huh? Maybe we're able to do a payload drop? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they brought their whole 3D printer. Yeah, this one's actually like hey. decently calibrated. That's pretty cool. We're gonna start a business here. 3D printing business. Yeah.
We did a little bit of... Well, we're probably, most definitely, not going to be flying today. Okay, we probably won't be flying today. So what we did today was, we went to the field, we assembled our, our plane. Um, did a little, little bit of inspection on the integrity of the airframe, mm -hmm. on the assembly. Um, well, did a bit of testing, which uh, these guys will talk to you guys about. What are you up to? Huh? So, uh, tell us about yourself, Mr. Captain. We'll get one. Unfortunately, you guys are in the sun, so it's actually just black figures in the sun. 